Hey, future museum hanging artists, Dan here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I am. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to cure painting frustrations and paint beautiful paintings while having a blast. That's kind of what today is about. In the past couple days, I sent out a few videos to you. And these videos were about different things. One was about this guy and his struggle and frustrations on trying to overcome and become a better painter. And then I also talked about what the biggest problems most artists are facing and then how to kind of get rid of those. And then how to like crush and shrink the biggest frustrations we're having in our painting. And I had all of these frustrations myself, right? And back in the day, I was always looking for answers, took all sorts of classes and workshops. And it got me to a certain point, but then I never really could get beyond that point. And the, all those videos are kind of about that struggle that I went through in getting better and better and better. I would get to a point where I just would reach a plateau and I just wouldn't get better and I would read the books. And the books would help some, but you would still be stuck and you just could not get past that point. And it made me crazy, you know. I was like, figured there was something wrong with me or something. Some reason I wasn't getting it because it seemed like there were people that were good painters, but they didn't seem to really have any secrets, especially when you talk to them and ask them questions. They're like, well, I don't know. I just do this, right? And to me, there had to be some sort of a why behind it. And I took classes, and I remember even one time I went to a class, drug on my stuff there, and got all set up, and then realized I didn't bring my palette with, with my paint in it. And so I had to borrow it, and it took me a long time to get set up. And, you know, classes can be kind of stressful anyway, and then you go dragging all your stuff, and then you have to borrow stuff, and it makes you kind of crazy. So if you name the frustration, most likely I've had it too. Although when everyone was sharing all of their frustrations and all the emails, emails and the comments people were leaving, I got a sense of I wasn't the only one. There was a lot of people that kind of were in that same boat of feeling frustrated of having their art get better and then suddenly stop and not know what to do next and how to progress to that next point, you know. And um, I was the same exact way. I felt like I'm not going to get it. And eventually I came up with a strategy that really helped take me to that next spot each time. And as simple as it seems, that painting transformation for me was all in that three-letter word called why. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why do you do this? Why do things recede when you use transparent colors? Why do they advance when you use opaque colors? I had to know all these reasons why. You know, it wasn't just enough to have someone tell you a bunch of rules, which really, most of those rules are just nonsense anyway. Like, for example, the rule of never put anything in the center of the canvas and always use three things instead of two or four. I mean, those rules are basically nonsense. There's no real foundation to that. There are going to be certain times when those rules kind of apply, but for the most part, it's just crazy talk. And until you really fully understand composition and movement and eye path, you don't really get why those rules are nonsense. You know what I'm saying? And that was kind of my transformation as I went into trying to figure out the why behind everything. And I think that's what really helped me. And I was able to break things down to their core elements, you know, like color, value, edges, brush strokes, paint thickness, composition, eye path. Those are the elements that really ultimately determine how a painting really works together and becomes something kind of magical and has that wow factor we're always looking for in paintings. So anyway, I was just like this regular guy who finally kind of figured it out and I had all these frustrations. I just wanted, at first I just wanted to maybe sell a painting here and there, maybe even get into a gallery or even be able to have something that I was proud enough to show my family and friends and say, hey, I did that. Or maybe even have a legacy to leave to my grandchildren's children and say, hey, Grandpa Dan painted all those paintings. Aren't those cool? You know, that kind of thing. I wasn't even looking for fame or fortune or anything like that. I was just a regular guy wanting to paint, right? But I still wanted to get better, you know. I didn't want to kind of have that my paintings have this amateurish feel you know that so many paintings do that we just can't seem to get past that so that was a kind of a big deal to me is not wanting to have these amateurish paintings and then sooner or later I shared 
some of these discoveries with my friends and explain to them why certain things behave things and then they wanted me to teach and eventually people asked me to create a dvd sets so i finally came up with my first dvd set which is a still life course and it's kind of badly made the lighting's bad it doesn't show the palette just one camera with bad, with bad sound but people just really connected with the whys that i provided in those videos and they're just crazy about them. So I was going to remake them and make them better, but people were so crazy about them, I'm afraid of messing up my formula, you know? So I've never remade those. And then eventually they asked me to make another set, so I made a landscape set. And then eventually they wanted more and more, so I created the Art Masters program, and which is an awesome program. People loved that. A lot of people did really well with that program, but it was just too hard of a program for everybody. So what I've done, of course, you've heard me say this before, is I took all that information and reordered it. And it's still the same information, but it starts in more of a logical sequence of from easier to building to, to harder type paintings, you know. And also in those paintings, a lot of these are instead of like a quick demo that I did in the Still Life and Landscape course, these are demos that are, a lot of these are demos that are taken all the way to the point where I would sign it and send it into a gallery. And of course, not all of them, some of them are the shorter demos too, but I think that's important to kind of show you kind of the next step. It's one thing to do a demonstration that's like a sketch or something like that, which is still a nice painting, but you got to know how to take it even further to that further point of making it like a gallery ready painting. You know, something that you're going to be really proud to have and or to sell, you know. So I think that's important that I mention that. And what this class is going to be about, all the elements are designed to get rid of your frustration and give you the knowledge how to get better. Really basically have fun. That's what we're going to have two challenges a month where I'll tell you, hey, let's paint this with um, how to give you some different elements like an egg and an orange and a shoe or something like that. And say, like, come up with something interesting and everyone will post their paintings and it'll be kind of fun and people will vote on them and we'll give out prizes like aprons and hats and t-shirts, stuff like that. It'll be a really a good time. And I think the beauty of that is we'll have fun at the same time that we're learning, you know? And so every other week there'll be a demo. I'll do a demo one week and then the next week will be like one of these fun projects. But I'll also give you like two or three pictures on those off weeks so you can pick something to paint too if you don't want to participate in those demos. So it's going to be pretty cool. And these pictures I'm going to give you, those are pictures that are proven to either be good sellers or or receive a lot of attention, you know, meaning because maybe I didn't sell them, I might have kept them or used them as showpieces. So I think you're going to really like that. We're going to give you marketing tips so you can sell your masterpieces and motivational tips and handouts and webinars. What a webinar is like a group where everyone gets together on their computer and we sit and have a conference, like a conference call, only I'll show you critiques as you go through. You know, I'll show paintings and we'll critique them as you go through. Those are a lot of fun. You're going to really get a chance. And that's your chance to talk to me live and ask me correct questions right then and there. And then for people that want it, we have DVDs of the demonstrations as well. So I think you're going to find this is pretty cool. Before I jump into the details of the course, I want to answer some questions that have come up from people, either from emails or from where they've left comments about the class. For example, people have maybe started my landscape series or my still life series and say, hey, I've only done about half of that. What should I do? Um, my answer is I would go ahead and do the weekly class because when you get into the weekly class, you're not going to want to do every one of the paintings I present every week. Anyway, there's going to be weeks that you just don't connect with that painting. And that would be a perfect time for you to fill it in with a painting from the landscape or still life course. You know what I'm saying? And that way you can kind of keep up with that and get that foundational information while you're getting this kind of supercharged information from the weekly painting course. The weekly painting course, the information in that is fantastic. As much as everyone loves the still life and the landscape course, that is really some good information. And you really don't want to wait another year till I open it up again to take it. I mean, the landscape course is only 10 paintings. Theoretically, you should be done with that in two or three months. So what are you going to do for the other nine months? And you really just don't want to miss that information. So I think that is important for me to, um, to share that with you. And the weekly thing with emails where the course comes out weekly, 
A lot of people say, well, I don't really have time for that. And I can understand that. Some people are busy. And what I do recommend you do at least is just watch the videos and watch all the tips. Watching all the tips will take you about an hour, maybe even less than that. And then the demos can take anywhere from two to four hours per week. You know, that's the week I actually do the demos. And then the other weeks, we just give you pictures. And it's a 10-minute thing to listen to me talk about how to paint it. So in terms of time, that is not really a big commitment. But I do want to talk about time because I think this is important. People are going to come to me and say, oh, Dan, I just don't have time to do it. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm doing all sorts of stuff. Well, part of what we teach in the course is time management and how to make painting a priority. And it's amazing to tell me that you don't have time to do painting when half, when a good piece of the course information is about time management so you can figure out how to manage your time and make your painting a priority. It's, that's kind of silly. So also if, you know, a lot of people will come home from work, they'll turn on the TV, they watch, the average person watches like three hours of TV every night and then more on the weekend. Can you imagine how many paintings you could do in all that time? So it's not really a matter of time management for most people as much as it is making painting a priority. And we talked about that. And I talked about how you should start your day painting and allow everything else to be interruptions to painting rather than painting the interruption to everything else and how that mindset is so important you know, and all that. And as also in the course, I don't expect you to do every single painting. Nobody ever does that. They just do as much as they can. But you got to listen to all the modules and listen to all the tips because that's the stuff that's going to embed itself in your mind. When you do have time and you make it a priority to become a great painter, that information is going to be there. And, you know, sometimes you have to hear this stuff five, six times over and over and over. So if you blow it off, don't even hear it the first time, you're going to have to wait until you hear it the first time, then hear it a second time, then hear it a third time. Because they say you have to hear something seven times before it ever kind of really sticks to you. So I think it's important that you know that. And then people are going to come and they say, I don't have the money. And just like the time thing, it's just a matter of what's important to you. And it's not like this course is all that expensive, you know. I'm not trying to make a ton of money off of it. I'm just trying to you know, put something out there, charge a price that's actually very low for it. And we'll talk about that in a bit. But people will say, well, I don't have the money. And it's just, have you ever had one of those situations where you really, really wanted something and you didn't have the money, but somehow you found the way to, to pay for it? It's like that. If you really, really want it, you'll do it. And I tell you, I've had actual emails from people before. said, so, Dan, I'd love to take your course, but I just don't have any money. I can't afford it. And below it will be signed, Mary sent for my iPad. So it's not ever really about the money, especially for something as inexpensive as this course is. It's really just about what are you willing to give up to really chase your dream, to see if you can be a great artist. You know what I mean? So I think that's important to really be alert to that. Because if you really want to do it, you'll be able to figure out the money and the time and you know how to do it to really get better at this whole painting thing. I really believe that. And I think another question that comes up a lot is people say, well, Dan, I want to learn to paint, but I don't necessarily want to paint your way. And I totally understand that. And some people want to paint looser. Some people want to paint tighter. I got to tell you, it's a funny story. One time I had two returns in one week from my still life course. And you got to understand that returns are really rare for me. I hardly ever get them when people buy my sets. Anyway, this person said, one, the first person emailed and said, Dan, you're too tight for me. I want um, these paintings aren't going to work for me. And the second person, uh, two days later, a set came back and said, Dan, you paint too loose for me. These aren't going to work for me. So it's just really kind of funny how you can't make everybody happy. But the important part is I'm not here to tell you to paint the way I am. I'm just trying to give you the whys behind everything that you do so that you understand it. And I think both those people really missed out because they didn't understand that learning to paint isn't about copying the way the instructor is doing it. You know, I can certainly translate all that. So that's not a big issue at all. Anyway, I just really think that if you just follow the strategies you're gonna and the techniques, you're gonna really get a lot out of the course. Here's what I think this course will do for you. One, we're gonna give you demos twice a month. And these are demos from start to finish of paintings that are going to be what I consider to be good gallery paintings, right? It's not to say that your goal is to go sell in galleries. It might not be. It just might be to have fun and paint 
good paintings, but that's what these are. These are going to be paintings that have been tested and be recognizable as good paintings. And you can submit them to shows or approach galleries with them or just keep them and hang beautiful paintings in your house. I think you're just going to love that. And we're also going to give you motivational tips every week to kind of keep you focused and keep you excited about painting and help kind of break through any of the barriers that are keeping you from getting in there and getting great paintings done. Because really, at the end of the day, what we just really want to do is have fun while we paint and have beautiful paintings to show our family and friends and, you know, kind of be respected as an artist, you know. It's not like most people, it would be nice to sell paintings and get into museums and galleries and all that. But, you know, in the moment-to-moment -moment experience, what we're just really looking for is to have fun painting. And that's really what I try to zero in on, in making paintings that you're going to be proud of. You know what I mean? And just getting better skilled and better at what you're doing at your craft, you know? And painting doesn't necessarily have to be super frustrating or what I want to say, like difficult or hard. It's just a matter of breaking it down and kind of saying, this is why you do this. This is why you do that. And it's just pretty simple, really, and kind of worry-free. The motivational tips are really probably one of the best parts of the whole course. Maybe some people have a tendency to overlook them because they go straight for the marketing and straight for the demos. But really, that's there's a lot to that. Motivation is what keeps you excited about painting and gets you in front of that canvas and painting. Because, you know, if you get in front of your canvas and paint, you're going to get better. And that's why if you do this course, you almost can't help but get better because you're going to be painting more. You know, I'm giving you a painting every week to do. Now, that doesn't mean you have to become crazy overwhelmed and do everything I give you. You know, just do what you can. If you paint one painting a month now, set your goal for two paintings a month. You paint two paintings a month now, set your goal for three paintings a month. So you don't stress yourself out, make yourself crazy. Because I'm going to give you so much information in terms of art and learning about techniques and motivation and marketing that if you try to do everything you're literally going to kind of go crazy and you don't want to do that everything i give you in this course is completely downloadable so you can just download it and save it and save it for a later date but i do recommend what you do is you watch everything doesn't mean you have to run out and do everything right then and there but you kind of want to watch everything so that you get the full benefit of the course and that'll sink into your brain and then as we go further and further in the course you'll get more and more information and it'll build and it'll re-trigger those other those other videos you watched in your mind and you'll start connecting everything and then your understanding of it all will become better and better. And what happens sometimes is, you know, we get into these situations where we just kind of put stuff off, right? I remember one time I was going to make frames. I wanted to make frames for my paintings because I didn't have any money. I was a starving artist and I wanted to get into galleries, right? And I know that one of the big things about getting into good galleries is having good frames, right? So I found this course and it was this little online thing with a VHS tape. That's how old it was. And it was kind of expensive. I don't remember how much, probably equivalent to like 150 bucks now. And and I put it off and because I thought, hey, that's expensive and I'm not sure what if I don't get any better from it and so on and so forth, you know, and I didn't do it. And then finally, a year later, I said, all right, there it is again. I'm going to just do it. And I bought it and instantly I started making frames. The frames looked really good. They really enhanced my paintings and I got into galleries and started selling. So what I did by dragging my feet is I wasted an entire year of time when I could have been selling in galleries. And, you know, who knows what that does to you, you know, in terms of psyche, having another year of not doing it. So kind of the same thing goes with this course. I really wouldn't put it off if you think it is for you. And you're going to be able, you'll be able to get out of it if you don't want to do the course. It's not like it's a, you're committing for a year or anything like that. It's a month to month thing. You can bail anytime you want. So just like a regular class, if you chose not to go to a regular class for a month, you wouldn't have to. And then you could go back the next month. So that's, it's the same way. I'm not trying to stress you out. I'm just trying to give you great stuff, great tools for your painting toolbox so that you can get better and better and better and really just have fun, right? That's really all this is about for me. And if you're looking for recommendations, just go to the top of the website here and look for comments that people have made about my classes. And I think we, if you click on that, we have like 350 or, or so recommendations from people that have taken my courses. They've just been thrilled with them. Some of them have taken the AMP course. Some have taken our still life course, our landscape course. And it's just kind of a wonderful little testament to um, how everyone has really gotten excited about these classes. And there's a guy in AMP right now that I know took, he's in the 
art master's program and he had a local art show in his community and they had these little booths and a bunch of artists were in it and he had 16 paintings from the art master's program and he sold eight of them and he ended up selling more paintings than anyone else in the entire show and he sold 16 and of course he's thrilled you know and that's the important part is i want you to understand that these paintings are going to be really good paintings they're not like you know a lot of times you'll take a class and they'll put up one pair and say here paint this pair and and that's nice and easy and we are going to have options available for beginners and novice painters in the course but the paintings are designed to be really good award-winning sellable paintings so i think that's pretty cool and but anyway if you go to that page there's like 300 or somewhere between three and four hundred like testimonials and this is just from one thing where we asked people to leave a comment in um, a survey that we had done we have hundreds more that we haven't even put on this page yet but there's the first one right here i'm just looking at says that she took my online classes and my still life classes and was very thrilled and she feels like by far the best online class she's ever done and all the additional videos information tips marketing are amazing information and helpful and critiques are well done and no matter what the ability at the time of the student is so helpful and kind and i think my painting has progressed by leaps while working with you i've sold several of the still life paintings i painted and i recommend your courses from germaine so thank you germaine but anyway if you look through that page you're going to find tons of stuff on there about people who have taken the class and have really liked it so if you have any doubts at all about that just check out that i think you're going to really like that Okay, and that's at the tab at the top where it says, see what other artists say about the class. When I was learning how to paint, what would happen is I would take workshops and I would fly off to these workshops to study with these great artists, right? And I would pay maybe eight, five hundred to eight hundred dollars for the workshop alone, maybe three hundred to five hundred for airfare, a couple hundred dollars on meals, maybe three to four hundred dollars on a hotel, and I'd normally rent a car for a couple hundred bucks. And if I went to that workshop and I got one really good tip out of that, I'd be thrilled. If I got two, I'd be ecstatic, right? Something I could really take back and say, okay, that's something really concrete that I can implement into my painting. I'd just be really thrilled with that. And what I'm giving you, I think, is immensely better than that. Every week you're going to get a marketing module and you're going to get a demo or a picture to paint and you're going to get an advanced tip and then motivational modules plus handouts that you can print and have and create a binder and just go through and look at these. Plus we're going to be telling you all sorts of things like how to set up Facebook pages, how to do studio shows, how to do tent shows, how to get into galleries, how to get into magazines, just a whole bunch of stuff that we are going to be giving you over the course of this class. And I believe that you'll get one of those tips every week maybe even three four a week who knows you know because not only are there those the tips in, in the demos i'm constantly telling you stuff as well so i really think you're going to get kind of like a workshop every week in terms of your experience of the knowledge you can take to your painting basically your toolbox that you're going to add for your art so whereas these workshops we're going to charge you like anywhere from a thousand to a couple thousand dollars to go to one of those this course is only going to be 79 dollars a month now originally when we set it up we set up the amp it was going to be 147 dollars a month we decided to basically cut that in half and make it 79 dollars a month and for that what you'll get is your four modules actually 4.33 because we bill on a monthly basis and it comes out weekly so some weeks you'll get four some weeks you'll get five but anyway when i say five i mean modules so when you think about that any one thing would certainly be worth that price just the pictures if i said here's pictures that are proven to be good sellers here you go and you'd say oh yeah i'm going to sell this thing for five six hundred bucks what's twenty dollars to get a picture that i know that's going to be successful you see what i'm saying not to mention the demos and the marketing tips a lot of people would easily pay that just for a marketing course like this so i purposely priced it in such a way that it's kind of ridiculously low so um and that is for the online version and if you want dvds you can get that i think they're an extra 17 dollars we'll 
I, I exactly don't remember the amount. If you look down below at the where you can buy it, you'll see the amount for that. And basically, it's exactly the same, only you, you get online version, plus you get DVDs of the demos. You're not going to get DVDs of the marketing or DVDs of the tips or anything like that. Just the demonstrations, okay, that I do. And that's why it's only like a few dollars more. It's only a couple, like somewhere between, you get maybe two or three DVDs per month for that price. And that's just basically our cost on having to create those DVDs and mail them out. So it's not like we're making any additional money for the DVDs. But if you want them, it's nice to have them. Some people like the DVDs. They want to be able to refer to them, make a nice library, and basically just have them. So it's up to you. But I wanted to make it affordable, and that's why I came up with the $79. I feel like that's very affordable for everybody. Let me break that down for you. So every week you're going to get a demo or pictures. Two demos a month, two sets of pictures per month. And also with those pictures, we're going to have these challenges where we're going to do things where, like I told you before, you're going to give you certain things and say, do a painting or paint a piece of fruit, but you only get 30 brush strokes. And then we're going to send it into our Facebook community page and everyone will vote on it. Whoever is the best will win a prize or we'll post them. I haven't really worked out those details yet. We'll try to figure out what will work the best for that. Probably what we'll do is we'll set up a special page on the site where you click on it and then you'll be able to vote for each person's. And you probably won't be able to vote for your own though. And then whoever gets the most votes will win an apron or something. Some small thing. It won't be like, it's not like you're going to be winning the lotto or anything like that, but it'll be something that'll be kind of fun, I think. Each and every week, you're going to get a motivational tip. I already talked about that. The marketing tips, I've kind of talked about that. Then once a week, normally not every week, three times a month, we're going to have webinars. And that's an opportunity for you to send in your paintings, and I will try to critique them. I can't guarantee I'll get to every one of them, but I'll critique them, and you'll see what everyone else is doing and um, see the mistakes other people make as well as you, and that way it'll really help you guys make better paintings. From the Art Masters program, the people that came to the webinars and watched the webinar recordings, don't worry if you can't come, we record them. They feel like that's one of the absolute best parts, seeing every Everyone else's paintings and what they did and it not only make them feel good about their work seeing other people's struggles but also at the same time they can steal their good ideas right and again all of this is downloadable and then you also have access to our private members only Facebook community page where you're going to be able to interact and share your work with other people and ask questions of everyone it's what we want is this to become a little community for everyone and then also I have some bonuses too. A bonus I'm going to create just for this course is how to make graffito frames. If you haven't seen that video, you really ought to go watch that because that's going to be an awesome bonus. This alone is worth the cost of the first month of the um, class. And it's the one thing that you can do very easy with no tools. You don't really need to go buy very much, hardly anything. And you can make frames that really give your paintings a professional look. And these are... You can go buy frames at hobby stores and punch them up. And that's what in the demonstration, I'm actually going to go buy a frame from a hobby store and take you through and show you how to do graffito and really make a beautiful frame out of something that didn't cost you but maybe 30, 40 bucks. And as opposed to the frames that I, when I was selling frames, like a 16 by 20 might go for $250. Sometimes even more, depending on how elaborate it is. So anyway, I think it's a good deal, and I give you a seven-day trial. Watch the first module. If you think, oh, this guy's nuts, I don't want anything to do it, email us. We'll cancel. We'll refund your money. No questions asked. I just think that that is about as good as you can get. I mean, if you don't like it, then drop out, you know, and we'll give you back your money. But if you do like it, stay in the course, and every month you'll be charged the $79, and you'll get four new modules every month, new paint, two new painting demos, two more paintings to paint, and all the other stuff I've already talked about. And sometimes I'll even have extra demos, and we've done that before too, so I just don't want to guarantee that I'll do that, but it's definitely in there and it's coming. Now, as you know, there's a limited amount of spots for this, and the reason is is you can only have so many people on a webinar. And otherwise, I'll end up having to have six webinars just to get through everything. And then it will be disconnected because I'll never remember what I say in one and not on the other. And I really want to just have everybody have that one feeling and a one sense of community. So if you want it, make sure you get it right away. Okay. And it, it's only open for five days. And the reason is... In the Art Masters program, we had a few people come in at different times, and that was actually kind of hard on us because people were at different levels 
in terms of what paintings they were doing. And we kind of lost the sense of community a little bit, and I want to keep that tighter. So I'm going to be a little bit more strict about if you don't get in now, you probably just won't get in. And not until next January when I launch it again. And that's not to say that you have to go an entire year with the course. I just have created that much information. And then you can just do whatever's right for you. And then after a while, if you want, if you, you know, something comes up and you want to drop out and go on vacation, I can see that. Or just suspend your payment for a month and then catch up the following month. Yeah, you can do that too. So it's completely no stress. I don't want you guys to be freaking out thinking that is a stressful thing. And then these bonuses that I'm offering, like the Scraffito frame and a couple other little things, those are only going to be available during this initial time. If for some reason I was to open it up again, those people would not be eligible for those bonuses, particularly that Scraffito frame thing, which I think is important. And that's going to be closing on Tuesday. So it's only going to be open, I think, for, for five days. So if this sounds like something you want, then really all you have to do is go down, look for the orange button that says add to cart, click it, fill it out with your order, and then just buy it. We'll be sending you a video right away that tells you a little bit more about the course, giving you a whole bunch of stuff about materials and things that you may want to get. You don't have to go out and buy anything new or anything like that, but I'm just going to say, here's some things that I'm using, and here's some suggestions on sizes and different types of paints. But it's just kind of fun. I think you'll get a kick out of that. Anyway. I really just don't want you to spend any more time being frustrated and not getting better with your painting. I really do believe this is your one chance, not your only chance, of course, but your one chance to move forward and take your art to a new level in a relatively stress-free environment, which hopefully is going to make it fun for you. And again, I'm going to provide you so much information that if you try to do it all, you'll be overwhelmed. But if you just take your time and pick your projects, pick your marketing projects, if you want that. Pick the paintings you want to do, but listen to everything. That's really a big key. Make sure you at least listen to everything and you can learn that stuff because I don't want you to be frustrated with painting anymore. Painting doesn't have to be hard. All we just have to do is take it step by step and listen to what I say and I will eliminate a lot of that stress for you and hopefully remove some of those insecurities you're having about why your paintings maybe look amateurish or don't have the look that you're looking for. Because I really think that um, it really almost is that simple. Okay, so now remember when you add to cart and you click the order within the five days, what you're going to get every week is the demos with pictures. All right, one week it'll be an actual demo. The next will be a photograph, and I'm going to talk about how to paint it. Right, then you're going to get the paint a painting tip, which is an advanced, more kind of like a what I want to say. I don't want to say a secret tip because it's not really a secret, but it's stuff I haven't released to anybody else. Then you get a motivational tip on how to really just basically get yourself excited about painting, and a marketing tip that we're going to start laying out different strategies as you go through the whole course and come up with things that are going to work for you. Not every strategy is going to work for everybody, but there will be something that you connect with. And if you want to, you'll be able to sell your paintings. It's just that, and my experience is that most people that don't sell their paintings, it's just because they're not trying. They're not really doing the marketing and really kind of basically putting yourself out there, you know, but with everything that you give you, the tips, the motivation, I would be amazed if anybody didn't get help, didn't get better with their painting. And all this for only $79 a month. I don't know how you could really go wrong. And um, this course is limited, so make sure if you want it, you get in now. Like I say, it's going to close on Tuesday, but no stress. It's not going to be right for everyone. And if you're not going to be, you know, the kind of person that's committed and kind of wants to get better, and you're just kind of like, yeah, maybe I'll do that, it's probably not the right course for you, and you shouldn't get it. And instead, because you'll be taking that spot away from someone else who may really want it, right, because of the limitation of this number of spots. So if you don't think that's for you or you're kind of on the fence, probably not a good thing for you to do. Maybe you can just wait for another year and then maybe get on board then if it's for you. But if you're committed and you think that, hey, this is fun. I really do want to get better at my art. I'm tired of art that looks kind of amateurish and I'm not. I'm tired of getting stuck and I want to move forward. Then I think this is for you. So just go down, look for that button, click it, fill it out, and I'll see you on the other side. Have a great day.